Mel Harris, Garbage Man Piper, coming to you from the studio, my patio. Well, I got back home uh, yesterday um, afternoon, and uh, just kind of hung out, and then just took it easy this morning. Smoking a Roma Craft Neanderthal. Never had a Roma Craft before. Nice uh, Esteli Nicaraguan tobacco. And uh, just uh, relaxing. Sorry. There go booger flying by. Just relaxing after uh, an afternoon in the shop. Uh, more learning, more lessons. I had drafted up pipe 10, which I'm doing for a special person. And it's a bent, kind of a bent Dublin. And so I had drafted it up, laid it out on the block and just been thinking about it. I laid it out last week and just been thinking about it. And um, um, I, I, uh, had it drafted out to bore the uh, draft hole center into the bottom of the, the uh, chamber, smoking chamber. And I, I usually drill them off center so that the hole comes in a little bit higher. So instead of like this, you drill the pilot hole, and then you always slant it, and then you, you, you change the block, and then you drill it again. And I thought, hey, I'm just going to see why, what difference it would make, you know. So this, pretty much the block I drafted up, today was just basically experimenting, you know, just answering some questions of things, of why some things are done certain ways, and So um, I drilled the hole center in the draft hole at about an angle and then the, the smoking chamber. So it was about like this. And uh, so I learned why um, you cant it a little bit more. So if your chamber holes like this and your draft hole, your, your pilot draft holes like this, then you you bring it down to the bottom of the pilot hole and it brings it in a little bit higher. Um, because when you drill the draft hole, you end up having to drill to get your figure eight. When you shine a light in there, it should make a figure eight. To get your figure eight, you have to drill deeper than where the, uh, the draft hole is. So, okay. So again, it wasn't like I was, you know, all bummed that it was a fail block or whatever. So I thought, okay, well, that's cool. I'll uh, just keep working on it. Maybe learn some other things. And uh, unfortunately, it was a really clean block. So I picked the wrong block to experiment on. I should have saved that block, but... The block was, I think, a little small uh, for the bend that I wanted to do. Uh, I needed to probably have a little bit longer um, stumble, so, um, you know, uh, for the stem. So, yeah, I'm not really bummed. I, I just kept working through it, just learning some other things. Um, so I ended up continuing to uh, just uh, lathe on the block. Tried a few different lathing techniques from the front because I didn't leave myself much space. Um, so that allowed me to, I, I've seen Simon do that. So I thought oh, I'll, I'll try some of that. So that was kind of cool. That worked out nice. Saves you a lot of sanding.
and then I uh, went over to the sanding wheel and started sanding and um, started taking, there was a lot of wood I needed to remove. Um, I had trimmed it after I got it off the lathe, trimmed it down so it wouldn't be so bad. And um, I ended up, I ended up nicking the, uh, the draft hole to where then now it didn't match the, uh, the stem, which again, probably wouldn't have kept it anyways, but I thought, okay, well, there you go. You know, we know it's uh, probably not even a shop pipe now, but I thought, oh, it'll still smoke. So I'm still messing with it. And so I'm on the sanding wheel and I've never done um, a Dublin where it's kind of fluted out from the top down. And so um, I, I, I removed a heck of a lot of wood and I started going, man, I gotta be close to the chamber. And about the time I said that, I went into the, cha the smoke chamber. <laughs> Actually, it was a cool looking little pipe. I, I did the, some of the shaping on it and everything and had the top domed. Um, if I had it out here, I'd show it to you guys, but it's got a major, uh, I, I sanded into the, just farting around. Um, anyways, so I don't know, I don't even know what time it is, but I probably spent, I don't know, four hours out in the shop just, uh, working on it and. But I already know in my head when I lay out pipe number 10, some of the things I need to change, some of the things I need to do, and then I need to get focused on uh, making that pipe happen. I'm, st I'm debating, I reached out to uh, Jason Mouton about a metal lathe um, for stem work, making stems completely out of acrylic instead of using tenons, drilling out tenons and putting in Delron and, and, and or the uh, nine millimeters, because pretty much all I make are nine millimeters. So I'll, I'll lay the block out, probably a little bit bigger block, give myself a little bit more room, you know, in between the, the stem and the, the the chamber and uh, usually I tape up the um, the parts that I've done and sanded that I basically have almost finished sanded on the lathe I I tape those up with electrical tape those that have seen Simon uh, he he does some of that too that way if you do accidentally nick you know either the top or the bottom you still got a couple of layers of tape usually you don't end up going through the uh, the tape and, and boogering up the uh, stem or the uh, top of the chamber. So I didn't do that. So ended up using a couple of the uh, new drill bits um, that I had. So all in all, drilling the, the, the uh, Drilling for the stem fit perfect. So I know now the drills for certain stems and or the, the drill bits and so yeah. Um it's almost like pipe four five six seven eight were like the sweet spot. I mean, not, those came out really, I guess I was really focused on those. Um, pipe pipe one was basically a hobby block. Pipe two was a uh, umpal, which I can't even believe I was able to, to pull that off. So I have those, I smoke them. Pipe nine is still sitting, waiting for me to make a stem for it. So it may be waiting a while. I don't know when that pipe will go back, go out because 
I need to make a, uh, a stem for it. So I'm, I'm not, I don't know that I'm going to run out in the next week or two and buy a metal lathe, but I've done worse things. So anyways, uh, Jason, I appreciate the, uh, information that, that you gave me on, uh, on the metal lathe. I'm not sure I'll go to that quality, but at the same time, um, I don't know. I'm still chewing on the metal lathe, what to get, how much money to spend, actually spend on it. So today was a good day. Um, even though everything was a fail, um, it would, I, I learned from every one of those things. And I know I started doing things that I shouldn't have done, but I just wanted to see where it led. And now I know why you do things a certain way. So, all good. All good. I need to do some shout outs. I don't have them written down like normal. Um, I still think I need to do full doddle and kilted piper and miss kathy's videos i think i've got full dotto i just gotta load it but just needed to get out in my happy place and uh relax start work again tomorrow i'll be headed back to phoenix next weekend um need to check on my dad i'm concerned about a few things and uh, my brother who's not out of the water not out of the what is it not out of the uh thick of it yet but hopefully he'll be home from the hospital tomorrow My brother will be coming down from Northern California, so I'll be able to spend two or th probably three days with him. That'll be awesome. We'll probably hit a couple of the, uh, I may hit Zill again, and we may run over and hit uh, Cigar Daily um, after Barrett Jackson Auto Auction on Saturday. I'm enjoying the Romacraft Neanderthal. Um, little bit of pepper on the retro hell. When I was in the shop, I was smoking my tried and true Savinelli 626 naked. Smoked two or three bowls of uh, vanilla roll cake and then the vanilla roll cake with the old dark fire. That is just magic. You guys are really enjoying the vanilla roll cake. And you've got some old dark fire handy. Just sprinkle some in. And uh, wow, it, it really makes a nice bowl. They work together well. Birds are singing, a little bit of a breeze. You could probably hear the chimes. Gay's been out in the uh, yards all day, trimming bushes and that's kind of her hobby. She really likes getting out. We made some good sized gardens here in the backyard and in the front yard. Things are just almost ready to start blooming. So it was about 81 as a high today, and now it's clouds with some wind. So I'm just chatting. Thought I'd just get in here and visit with you guys a little bit. Um, shout out to uh, Chad Yardism. Prayers going up for you, brother. Uh, I know he was in ICU dealing with uh, the effects of COVID, having COVID. 
um, Douglas Cromudgeon uh, and Lee put together a GoFundMe. So if you haven't done that, reach out. Um, if you can throw some support uh, Chad's way on the GoFundMe, that would be awesome. Um, I need to actually get online there myself and, and make a donation. So Chad, prayers going up, brother. That is a, uh, that can be, ask Cliff Higgins, that can be a wicked journey through the COVID thing, so. I saw that Old Pops did a video, so I'll be bouncing over there. Gonna watch that. It's the book that he reads through. And I can't wait to watch that. They just, it just cracks me up. The guy's the most wittiest guy I know. Love you, Pops. Stonecrest Piper. Give him a little shout out. I just, uh, I don't remember when I subbed him. He's got about 88 subs. He uh, just did a video this morning um, of he and his wife in their um not so much a canoe i guess they're pontoons or whatever what are kayaks and uh that that is so much fun i love being uh using a kayak that that was cool so watch that um if you uh, haven't subbed stone crest piper do so just nice laid back easy going guy so um, usually now I'm shouting out people that I've subbed and or they're showing up in my feed and they're commenting so if I see new commenters I'm throwing them over into my shout outs as well at this point I'm getting no notifications as to who is subbing me so if you want to get a shout out then if you comment on my videos i'll know to be looking for you if i've not seen you in the past mainly those i'm shouting out are ones that have some sort of video history so though i love all the supporters so picked up a pipe last night on Simon, London calling Simon LCS Briars live. He was selling like 21 pipes. And I grabbed a uh, really cool looking um, bent pipe. It was a Kamoise. And I just, I just loved it. It had rustication and smooth. It was almost a panel. Uh, it's a bent panel, basically. But I really wanted to get my hands on it so that I could see the shaping of it because it looks like it'd be a cool pipe to make with all the rustications and stuff. I find myself looking at pipes just and wanting to acquire them just to see the shapes and maybe, you know, do a take, my take on that pipe or something. So anyways, I got so far to go. Um, I know Andrew, I'm going to be watching your post after this. He's showing his 17th pipe. Uh, Andrew, love you, brother. He was so instrumental in me setting up my shop. Um, and I know I mentioned that as we were putting the shop together. Um, but he and I, we probably text uh, once a week or so sharing what pipes and pictures and uh, we're just learning off of each other you know certain tools or drill bits that he's tried and how it worked for him and that is just money <coughs> you you can't replace that so anyways I'm almost at 20 minutes I'll stop it here Mel Harris garbage man Piper out in the studio Smoking Aroma Craft Neanderthal and earlier was enjoying some vanilla roll cake. 
Sweet chicken, baby. Y'all be safe out.